So today we've got a super seat here at the gym. We've got Lachlan Gals um, all the way from Absolute MMA in Australia, who's uh, first in the black belt, um, who's been here all week. Uh, and today he's going to be hosting a seminar. I'll be showing some highlights from the day, but I will be showing you some of what he's been teaching us this week, such as his 50-50 heel hook. And um, I'll also be doing a quick interview, which I'll be showing in a bit as well as yeah some general behind the scenes from the week and just to tell you a bit about him he's a first degree black belt from australia who's been competing for the last better part of a decade um let me just read his accomplishments today he's a ibjjf no gi world champion bronze medalist he's an australian jiu-jitsu grand prix champion multiple time Pan Pacific and Victorian Jiu Jitsu champion and represented Australia twice at the ADCC and most famously I suppose besides his personal accomplishments he's also famously known as being the coach of Craig Jones which is arguably the best grappler in the world alive at this moment so I'll show you a bit about it and show you how it goes there's about 10 more minutes left of the seminar and I'm going to be wrapping things up here. So this is what the seminar looks like. Kamal's not doing anything, I could heel hook him. 
but it's not that hard for him to slip that heel free, okay? This is not the best positioning for the heel. What I want is my elbow to attach the toes more to my ribs. You see how much, of, how big the space is to catch the heel now? So here, I've got a smaller heel to catch. Here, I've got a bigger heel to catch. So I've got like a huge lever here compared to a, a small lever when it's in my arm. So I want to pinch with my elbow against my ribs. Okay. And I want my forearm to be the area that's actually applying the pressure. Okay. So we're going to get this. This should be fully tight. Then we just connect our hands. Uh, free hand, palm up. Other one, palm down. Pulling the heel tight against the body, like this. Okay, lastly, we just want to like rotate the shin on the spot. So, so that means we don't want to, I'm not trying to like roll. If I go to roll, come up and roll as well. And whoever rolls fastest, wins. So I'm pushing his toes that way, and his heel pulling towards more like my head, like this. So that creates a pure roll, and that, that'll get the tap. But when we get this, it's a much tighter. Okay, so I'm moving in as I as I curl towards my head. All right, we don't want him straight to the knee. It means his roll will be more effective. Okay, it's hard for him to roll well with a bent knee. But once we go here, yeah, he can roll pretty well and he can escape. So we want him that knee bent and playing pressure there. Okay. So we're just going to catch that from the standing 50-50. So as soon as you knock him over, you're looking to catch this immediately before they. Before they hit the ground, before that other leg can come in and, and defend. Okay, so you should already have your grip set up. It's too late now. They're gonna, they're gonna tap. Kamal goes towards me, right? Keep his hips lifted up. I shoot through. From here, I'm gonna off balance, catch the heel, and we rock in. Nice and slow with the finish, guys.